Ayy, we step on niggas who be stepping on niggas. Oh, that's our partner when we catch him. Guess you get in the with him. You tripping? I'm tripping too, nigga. All right, with your block. All right, so who we got in front of the camera? What's up, man? It's 211 Zudo 1K. So what's the 1K in your name mean? Man, that, that was for my, my dad partner. He called himself 1K, you feel me? That was my brother. Grow with my nigga in Southside Stockton, you feel me? Really, really, really my brother. I'm for Shelly in that mug. And I'm gonna step behind that, you feel me? So what was it like growing up on the south side of Stockton? Man, that's it. That shit was weird, like, I don't, I don't know, like, growing up, I, I I never really, like, thought like them, but I was always around, like, people like that, so, like, you feel me, I'm walking, you feel me, with my, my partner right here, you feel me, my partner right there, and then, you feel me, one of them, you feel me, open the car door, and say, you feel me, start breaking glass and shit, that shit, that shit would be weird, bro, but then, you feel me, I for sure became a dad to that, started acting like that, too, started acting all stupid, that shit will really fuck you up, though, for real, like, that shit ain't really nothing to play with, you feel me, you walking, nigga, I'm little, you feel me, it's, it's homeless niggas asking me for money, bro, I'm like, hey, you feel me, I'm feeling bad, but you feel me? Me, you feel me? I give him what I got. You feel me? Shit fucked up. And niggas out there do you cold too? Make you feel bad for him and shit, bro. Like everybody do that. Like, not even just the homeless, bro. You feel me? Everybody try to play the victim. It's a fucked up city, bro. Me. Is it like real, like real poverty? Yeah, yeah, real poverty. Stockton, Stockton bankrupt. I think it's one of the, one of the, like America's biggest bankrupt cities. Motherfucking or California is one of the two, but like you feel me, yeah, it's like the bankrupt, it's all broke, you feel me? You go to really anywhere, you feel me? Like in, in the south for surely, you feel me, it's all bankrupt. Wherever you go to eat at, you feel me, you walk in that motherfucker, you like damn. It's it's all bankrupt. Everything it's hella poverty, hella homeless people everywhere. In my hood it's hella homeless people, you feel me? Like it's a whole homeless center and shit, bro. It's hella homeless people, you feel me? And they be acting like they trying to, you feel me, do this, do that, but really I can't tell you feel me, it's still hella homeless people that go clean some shit up and then say they doing it for the community, make hella posts about it, really not doing shit. But you feel me, that's whatever. So what are your connections with the north side and uh to fort worth you feel me my my uncles is from out here they 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 was in cali when they was like real young like 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 babies damn near and shit but they they came out here and shit and uh, i had got sent out here when i was like 15 i was fucking up you feel me and i had you feel me really anything they was fucking with i was fucking with too you feel me then my uncles my people off the rip and then uh motherfucking off the, you feel me? Off the rip. Them my people though, so you feel me? I'm for sure locked in, whatever they in, I'm in. And uh, yeah, but I had, I had went back to Cali, really, you feel me? I, I had went back. I came out here when I was 15 and still left when I was 15, you feel me? I really just can't stay in one place, you feel me? Always back and forth, you feel me? Getting money and shit. So what's it like going back and forth from Cali to Texas? Man, that shit, it's cool, you feel me? But it's also weird, you feel me? Because I come out here and eat. You feel me? And then go out there, you feel me? I tell my brother, you feel me? It's good for y'all to come, you feel me? Niggas, you feel me? But some niggas be feeling some type of way, you feel me? As, as niggas will, you feel me? As a nigga who's sitting in the city and they see you out there eating, you feel me? Niggas gonna start hating, you feel me? That shit, that shit have happened, you feel me? Niggas be like, oh, nigga, you not even, you feel me? Da -da 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 -da. But like, I'll come back and see what's up with that, you feel me? I'll for sure get up on it. And, and if something spark out there, you feel me? I'm staying out there for however long that spark. I ain't never left no shit unfinished with nobody, you feel me? Ain't niggas know that. I'm American, uh, I'm Yaki, I'm Mexican, and I'm black, uh, motherfucker. Yeah, that's it, I think. Oh, so you very cultural. Yeah, yeah, I'm hella cultural, you feel me? I'll be, you, I'll be, y'all see in the video, you feel me? All my uncles and shit is Mexican, you feel me, on this side, but I got, you feel me, a bunch of black family too, you feel me? My nana, my nana is one of the only native, you feel me, people that I know who's really like, you feel me, into that shit. But like, yeah, you feel me? So what was like, what was like the dinners like? Like, motherfucking, bro, the I ain't gonna lie, I feel, I feel like I'm the luckiest nigga, like, when it comes to the dinners and shit, like, I wouldn't have no other, other race, you feel me? I be eating my favorite foods all the time, like, you feel me, the mole eggs, the manula, all that shit, you feel me? And especially when I go to the cookouts with my black people, so you feel me, on both sides of, like, if I go to my Mexican side, my daddy would be like, hey, bring me a plate home, you feel me? And, and vice versa with my mom and shit, too, like, it's just always been like that, you feel me? So how was it like uh, where you was born at? Like, how was life growing up? Man, well, I, I was born in Martinez, you feel me? But I, I didn't even live in Martinez. I, I really want to say when I was born in Martinez, I, I want to say when I came home and shit, we went to Hayward. That's that's where my daddy from and shit, uh, motherfucker. And I lived there for like two years. But you feel me? Growing up, up until you feel me, I got to Stockton. was really weird, though, because it was like we was never in one place, you feel me? But if, if something didn't work out in one place, say we lived in Concord or something, and something didn't work out there, we always either had somewhere to go and conquer it. If we were sleeping in the car, because we used to sleep in the car a lot, you feel me? And if we were sleeping in the car, my daddy would be like, okay, but we're going to go sleep in the car in Hayward, you feel me? Because that's where he from, you feel me? So, yeah. How was it feeling sleeping in the car? Man, that shit. I don't know. At the, at the time, you feel me? It was whatever. It was just... It was just me and my sister, you feel me? I guess it was just whatever. It would be too loud and shit, you feel me? But 
It was whatever. My my parents always try to make that shit for like the best for us. You feel me? We got you feel me? D uh, uh portable DVD player. I'll never forget when I had got that hoe. Me and my sister sit there watching that hoe. And then when she got this girly ass movie, we start arguing about that hoe and shit. But you feel me? That shit was at the time it was normal until we got older and shit and like I don't know, like, we're sleeping in the car, and then, like, I, I wonder why, like, where my dad at, you feel me, he'll come home, you feel me, like, or not come home, he come back to the car, you feel me, but, like, after, you feel me, he would really be on the block and shit, so, like, you feel me, come home with some money, and we'll sleep in the hotel this day and that day, and then I'll be like, why we not in the car, you feel me, but, and then I'll realize, you feel me, okay, this hotel is a little bit better than that car, you feel me, and then, eventually, my dad, you feel me, my people had just got a house and shit, and then, we was cool for a minute, I swear to God, we was cool. My daddy had this good thing going, you feel me? Doing a little trapping and shit, and then they made him go sit down. And then after that shit, I swear to God, that's when everything went downhill. Like, after that shit, after he had got locked up, we lost everything. And, like, what we had, the reason we had, I don't even want to speak on it, but the reason we had what we had, bro, like, we was not supposed to have it like that. So when all that shit had got caught, like, we, we really lost everything. Like, you feel me? Had a little bit of money to go somewhere, you feel me? That's when we moved in the house in Stockton, bro. I was six years old, bro. That shit... You feel me? But and then we was doing bad for bro for years after that. Like I'm talking like getting kicked out. Like I'm to school. Like niggas is laughing at my shoes, bro. Like nigga, now I gotta fight this nigga because he laughing at my shoes. Like a whole bunch of shit, bro. Like you feel me? Like growing up, that shit really that shit was really fucked up to me. Like I used to just be like, damn, like like why me though? Like you feel me? What's up with that? And then like I really didn't want to like you feel me being none of that shit with nobody. You feel me? With nobody was on because like my pops was in there and like you feel me? He'd tell me like nigga look at that like you how sad was you when I was in jail and then he'd like imagine how sad I was. You feel me? So I just really think about like what he would tell me and shit and then like man bro like I had just just coming up like that same shit like bro I see this nigga this nigga I'm I'm looking at this nigga like damn he cool nobody talk about this nigga shoes I'm trying to get like this nigga and then before you know it everything that you feel me what, what I, I once had up in here was gone you feel me because I was just trying to trying to thug like bro you not finna you feel me I had to get my respect trying to earn my respect that's what it was about you feel me for a cool minute and then eventually I had that shit and it was like bro like I'm realizing who I'm trying to get respect from like nigga who is this nigga you feel me whole bunch of shit so it was like music always in the background, like getting you through all those times? Yeah, everybody everybody in my family always did music. My dad always did music, you feel me? My uncles do music and shit too. And then uh, I just always write music and shit, but I never spit it in front of nobody, you feel me? I always just, you feel me, had that shit. And then uh, one time we spin that hoe, me and my boy, my nigga 1K, you feel me? He's sitting there, we smoking uh, paper, you feel me? We wrote up weed in, like, we're little niggas, bro, little niggas, but you feel me? Um, we sitting there freestyling, you feel me? I'm fucking with his shit, and then like him and his brother fuck with my shit. I'm sitting there like, okay, okay, that should have made you more comfortable, you feel me? Hearing somebody fuck with your shit. You already thought your shit was kind of hard, but you was scared, you feel me? To, and then, you feel me, he told me my shit was hard, and really after that, I had just started, you feel me, trying to go up, just dropping my shit, not even caring, you feel me, who thought it was hard and who didn't. And then at that point, people just started thinking my shit was hard, you feel me? So what was the last song you just dropped? Man, last time I just dropped with Chunk the Dudes. You got to check that up on YouTube, too. Wish I did TV, you feel me? Go subscribe, go like the video, go comment, do your thing. Yeah. I see the video started doing numbers. How, how did that make you feel? Man, that all made me feel good because I had dropped the audio to that song, the same song, you feel me? And then, like, I, I was just thinking, like, damn, maybe this song, whatever, whatever. And then, you feel me? I dropped the video. That whole start getting so much love, you feel me? Everybody reposting my shit. And niggas who... The niggas who I ain't talked to in a minute, but uh, you feel me? That's whatever. But yeah, everybody just start reposting my shit. Hella people start fucking with my shit. Seeing my family like posting videos on their story, uh, me, you feel me, on their TV, you feel me? That's different. Different than just reposting a post, you feel me? And, and people liking my shit. These bitches, you feel me? That shit be, you feel me, clean as fuck. Bitches following me who ain't following me back, you feel me? Not even getting my follow back now, you feel me? <laughs> that shit clean though, I ain't gonna lie. What's your process for when you go to make a song? Man, for when I go to make a song, I really just gotta feel the beat. Like, I don't know. Like, I say I don't care. I don't care what people think, but I won't really drop no weak shit. Like, I swear to God. Like, the, like the whole process of making the song. Like, I don't know halfway into the song. Like, oh fuck, I just made a. You feel me? A song that I ain't fucking with no more. You feel me? I I scratch that. But if I'm writing, you feel me? At the house or something or something. You feel me? I'm spinning and spinning and spinning. My process really at writing, and then I go tell you feel me, my uncle blood drop. You feel me? Shout out blood drop, big blood drop. You feel me? I go tell my uncle, you feel me, spit that shit to him, spit the beat. He'll be like, yeah, bro, that whole hard, you feel me? Really, when I hear that shit from him, you feel me? That shit will really make me like, okay, okay, you feel me? I'm finna go do this, and you feel me? I'll just go ask other people if they fucking with that hoe. Everybody will say they fucking with that hoe. I'm like, okay, okay, I'm fucking with it. And I'll take it to the studio, you feel me? Go to it. And, like, usually, bro, like, it really just be how I'm feeling in the moment. Like, if a nigga got me pissed off, like, you feel me? I'll go make something, you feel me? Pissed off ass shit. But, like, I don't know. I can't even really say that, though, because it's like... 
I ain't even type a nigga like, oh, you just posted it. Like, okay, let me go rap something about Like, you feel me? It ain't really nothing like that. It's just like, you feel me? When I'm really thinking like that, like, if I sit there and listen to J.D. Younger, da -da -da -da, like, I go get pissed off. You feel me? I'm heavily inspired by people. You feel me? When it comes to making the music, you feel me? So who inspires you? Man, I say really, really main people who inspire me, man. I want to say Webby. Webby has like a big, a big piece of you feel me who inspires me, motherfucking. I ain't gonna lie, I don't, I don't sound like him or nothing like him, but like X, bro, like I really think like him when it comes to just making my music. Like I, I feel like he inspires me too. You feel me? Bushy inspires me on God. I ain't even gonna lie, my uncles be hating on me on God for it, but I, I say Eminem inspires me too. Like you feel me? And then niggas just say like you feel me Eminem ass, but then be like, oh, but your shit raw though. You feel me? Type like, oh no, like. You feel me? That shit, you, you feel me? Those probably the people who inspired me the most. My dad really inspired me too, though. Like, when I, I look at, he used to have these these uh, big-ass posters. He'd just come home and write on this shit. I'd be looking like, damn, like, you feel me? That ain't this shit. This shit crazy what he'd say. Like, you feel me? He, I remember one time he had some shit that was like this shit. He was like, our story big for t just too big for TV. It was for the movies or some shit like that. Like, that shit was crazy to me. I was like, damn, the fuck? You feel me? So, you feel me? Just people like that. So uh, speaking of Jay the Youngin, he 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 got killed in the city. How how do you feel about that incident? Man, that shit made me feel fucked up. Cause it's like niggas would be like, you feel me? You gotta leave your city. I really think he did leave his city. You feel me? But maybe he just came back for. And that's me too. You feel me? You, niggas see like I can't stay nowhere. You feel me? I'm always in the city. Or if I leave the city, I'm for surely coming back. Nobody could just be like Zuda left the city or da 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 da. Like you feel me? I always come back in the city. Always announce when I'm back in the city. And I never go for like a week. You feel me? When I'm in the city, I'm staying in the city. And it's like, you feel me, niggas would be like, he done for even being in the city, but like, I understand where he coming from, bro. Like, you don't want that motherfucking, that, that title from nobody, you feel me? Especially when that's not who you is, like, to be ducking nobody, you feel me? You gonna go to your city, do your duggy where your people are not. Now all your people want to move out the city. Even if you got the money, move all your people. Not everybody want to leave, bro. It's not so easy to do that, you feel me? Especially if that's where you from. You get homesick, bro. I understand, you feel me? It's fucked up that it happened, though. Oh, God, I really fucked with J.D. Young. So who you want to shout out? Motherfucking bro, shout out Blood Drop, shout out my uncle Google, shout out my uncle Gito, shout out my uncle Wacko, you feel me? And, and enough murder, like you feel me? Niggas really know who that is, you feel me? Shout out my nigga, shout out my nigga Rollo, shout out my nigga Honey B, shout out my nigga Lil J, shout out all my niggas in the city too, you feel me? My mama, shout out my nigga 211 Faye, you feel me? My mama Tay Tay, nigga, everybody know who they is, my nigga Juju, Juice Skis, you feel me? Niggas know. I right, with your block to spin again and chuck the deuce, nigga. Niggas better stop that like to talk until they lose, niggas. Bloodhead lost a dog behind the beef, that's what we do, nigga. Catch a sucker loafing in the street, that's who we shoot, nigga.